Debdale Park occupies 45 acres in East Manchester, land previously part of the Gorton House estate. It is one of the biggest inner city parks in Manchester and a popular destination park enjoyed by many. Close to the Fallowfield Loop Cycle and Walkway, forming part of the Gorebrook Valley Conservation Area and bordering Debdale Upper and Lower Reservoirs, the park hosts a varied and plentiful range of wildlife species, including waterfowl, invertebrates, mammals, birds, bats, amphibians and plant life. Park facilities include a thriving bowling and social club, recently refurbished tennis and sports area, up-to-date children's play area and community rooms. The Friends of Debdale Park was established in 2003 and has since then invested over £100,000 in the park. This does not include the countless amount of volunteer hours spent maintaining the park and running the projects and activities but does include purchasing and installing new playground and green gym equipment and countless roses, shrubs and other plants. All of the gardening in the park, aside from the main grass cutting, is completed by volunteers. This back corner of the park is being redeveloped and given a new lease of life with the addition of the Wellbeing Hub Debdale Nature Centre and Coffee in the Park alongside existing groups Green Fingers Debdale and Men's Shed Debdale. All these projects work together hand in hand for the greater good of the community and the park. Although each of the projects has its own focus, they all overlap and it was felt that there needed to be a central group to help pull it all together and so Growing Gorton was born. Green Fingers Debdale has been running since 1999 helping adults with learning difficulties to grow, socialise and become more independent. It is a gardening project designed to give the members an opportunity to learn how to grow their own fruit, vegetables, herbs and flowers. Produce from the garden can be taken by the members or is often sold during park events. This will now be done more regularly to raise funds from the coffee in the park kiosk in addition to plants, subject to availability. Gorton Pagan Moot was established in 2017 by Vicky and Chris Kennedy, Reverend David Gray and Carol Ogden. It is a safe space for pagans to come together, socialise and learn from each other. Since its inception, it has grown to become one of the most active and well-attended moots in the country. The moot often hosts speakers and other visitors carrying out workshops and other activities, and pre-pandemic provided all the free children's school holiday activities in Debdale. Men's Shed Debdale was set up in early 2019 to tackle social isolation particularly, but not exclusively, in older males. The shed is based in two shipping containers. One is set up as a workshop. The focus of the activities provided at the shed has evolved due to the pandemic and the development of the other projects running alongside it. Outdoor and garden woodwork are the main focus, using the shelter of the Wellbeing Hub Polytunnel in adverse weather. There have long been plans for a nature centre along the Gorton Heritage Trail and in 2021 that dream became a reality. Debdale Nature Centre is an education and conservation project working with local people to look after the huge range of biodiversity on their doorstep. Debdale Eco Centre unfortunately had to close in 2019 so the Friends of Debdale Park took on the former assets including the two cabins two polytunnels and extensive garden space. One of the cabins has now been transformed into a visitor's drop-in centre with a wildlife garden, which is perfectly positioned at the end of the Gorton Heritage Trail green corridor between Sunnybrow and Debdale Parks. Already planned for later in 2021 are two bat walks, two bird walks, 
two bug ID workshops and two tree workshops, using experts connected with the Nature Centre to lead the sessions. Future developments will include forest school activities, community outreach work and the building of a network of live streaming cameras in nest boxes, feeding stations and habitats with images and video accessible live on the internet. Coffee in the Park was set up in 2021 to bring much needed funds into the projects in the park. There are picnic benches in the wildlife garden and plans to build a decking area in the future with more seating and a sunshade or rain cover with views over the reservoir. All the profits from this community coffee kiosk go straight back into the Growing Garden projects to ensure continued development and sustainability. The Wellbeing Hub comprises an outdoor cooking area, gardens and multi-use polytunnels which provide a covered outdoor space for anything from yoga to workshops and meetings. The cooking area with a custom built barbecue space, a fire bowl, pizza oven and even a sink was recently built by a group of corporate volunteers on one side of the Wellbeing Garden. This garden area stretches out behind the covered polytunnel spaces and provides a quiet haven with waterside views, somewhere to relax surrounded by the newly planted edible hedge. The polytunnels are undergoing some major maintenance, but one has been completely flagged inside already and we've hosted several meetings and workshops in there since then. Groups are ready to start providing yoga and tai chi and more inquiries about the space are coming in all the time.